What's up, YouTube? So can we take a moment to realize how outrageous it is that we are getting charged sales tax on both gold and silver? Now, if you're one of the lucky ones, you're not getting charged sales tax. However, if you're unlucky, like me, I'm getting charged sales tax on every single one of my silver and gold purchases. This is absolutely ridiculous, and we need to shine more light on this because you have to understand, if you're one of the lucky ones who aren't currently getting charged sales tax, on your gold and silver purchases, that doesn't mean it couldn't happen in the future. And you have to keep that in mind. You know, unfortunately, many people don't care until it affects them. But if they're coming for some of the states, what makes you think they're not going to come for the others? Let's go to the intro and then we'll get right into this video. Okay, so this video is honestly going to be more of a rant than anything. Um, but I'm going to drop some information in here as well that you may not know, or maybe you do. So go ahead and stick around for the whole video because I will be dropping some important information that you may have not known about already. So when you go and buy gold and silver, if you're unlucky, like I am, I'm in a state that currently charges sales tax on all of your gold and silver purchases. It doesn't matter what type of gold or silver it is. Every single purchase you make is going to get charged sales tax. Now, let me just take you through this for a second. When I work, I am bringing home a paycheck and that paycheck is already taxed. Okay, I'm getting taxed on my paycheck and I then go ahead and take my fiat money. I want to take my fiat money and I want to protect it and I want to put it into real money, which is gold and silver. See, when I want to do this, though, they come down on the common man like myself and they charge me sales tax. How does this make any sense? Let's think about this for a second. Taxes were already taken out on my paycheck. And now when I go ahead and take a portion of that paycheck and put it into gold and silver, which is real money, I'm getting charged again. I'm getting charged twice. I'm getting essentially double taxed here. This whole system is completely broken, completely broken. I mean, think about it for a second. I am simply taking my fiat and I'm simply converting it into real money. Okay, silver and gold is not an investment. See, the powers that be have deemed it as an investment and it's not. You know, they took gold and made it into a tier one asset. Gold and silver is real money. And all you have to do is go to Article 1, Section 10 and Article 1, Section 8 of our Constitution. And you can see that payment of debts should be in the form of gold or silver coin only. That's it. Not fiat notes, not debt notes, not the dollar, but gold and silver coin. Gold and silver is the money of this country. If you're from America, gold and silver is the money of this country. It is outlined clearly in our constitution. And I just want to go ahead and make this very clear because I know someone's going to make the argument in the comment section. They always do. The trolls always come out when you talk about Article 1, Section 10 and Article 1, Section 8 because it completely destroys the fiat system. And it clearly shows that what's going on right now is illegal. The debt note, the dollar, the Federal Reserve note is an illegal form of payment. Remember, when you work for a job, that job is now in debt to you. They should be paying you in gold or silver coin. That is per our constitution. And when you read through Article 1, Section 8 and Article 1, Section 10, it's talking about the states. And that's because the states were in control of their own monetary policy. So many like to make the argument that no state has actually violated the constitution when it comes to Article 1, Section 8 and Article 1, Section 10. And it's true, no state has done this. No state has made anything other than gold or silver coin the payment of debts. It was the Federal Reserve that did that. But you have to understand, the Federal Reserve was created after the Constitution. And before the creation of the Federal Reserve, states were essentially in control of their own monetary policy. But now we have the Federal Reserve that took the place of all of those states and is now in control of the entire country's monetary policy. So those same regulations that we see in Article 1, Section 10 and Article 1, Section 8 should have been put on the Federal Reserve, but it was not. Instead, we got a unbacked fiat, we got a debt note, that was printed to oblivion and has essentially devalued all of our work. It has made our work meaningless and it has restricted us from achieving and obtaining the fruits of our labor. That's what we got instead. And so going back to the main topic of this video, why are we being charged sales tax when we buy gold or silver? It makes absolutely no sense. This is completely criminal. I mean, we need to have constitutional lawyers shine more light on this because it's absolutely ridiculous. And if you're in one of those states that doesn't currently charge sales tax on gold and silver, 
Just get ready because if it's happening in some states, you best believe the other states are going to want a piece of that pie as well. You know, we really need to band together and we need to get these constitutional lawyers to fight for the common man. That's what needs to happen. And it's not happening, unfortunately. I've heard of litigation going on in the background, how they're trying to do away with sales tax on precious metals all throughout the country, which would be amazing. But that seems to have fizzled out. I haven't heard much about it. So if you've heard more about this, go ahead and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear more about it. Um, but the last time I checked, you know, there's not much going on with it. And it's absolutely ridiculous when you have someone like myself who is the common man, I'm trying to protect the fruits of my labor by taking my fiat and putting it into God's money, the money of this country, which is gold and silver. But when I do that, I get taxed again. Remember, I was already taxed one time. Again, I'm forced to do this because of Federal Reserve printing and fractional reserve banking. I do not want to see my work be devalued. And as a result, when I take that fiat cash, I'm punished for putting it into real money by being taxed again. This is absolutely criminal. And we're not even going to get into the fact when you go and sell it. Okay, that's a whole nother can of worms. Okay, we won't even get into capital gains tax in this video. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. And we need to bring more light onto this subject. We need more people in the stacking community to shine light on this. Because again, if it's not happening to you, that doesn't mean it won't happen to you in the future. So when you're looking at others who are suffering and you're saying to yourself, well, I don't care because it's not happening to me. Well, guess what? Eventually it will happen to you. And I can guarantee you that if you don't speak up for your fellow man, it will eventually happen to you. And if we look outside of this country, if we go to those in the UK, because I have a lot of UK subscribers and you guys are always telling me about the VAT tax, the VAT tax. And that is absolutely insane. I feel so bad for you guys because that tax is incredible. It discourages you from buying silver or in other words, exchanging your note into silver. That's how we should describe it because that's what's going on. We're not actually buying silver. We're exchanging our fiat into real money. And if you look at what they're getting charged in the UK, it's unbelievable, totally unbelievable. And again, I feel bad for my UK subscribers. You guys are telling me all the time about the tax that you're getting hit with when you're trying to exchange your note into silver. So again, it's happening everywhere around the world, but just sticking with the United States because I'm using the United States Constitution to back what I'm saying, it is illegal per our Constitution to charge a sales tax for converting our fake fiat into real money. We never voted upon having a Federal Reserve note. See, per the Constitution, we should be paid in gold and silver coin, true money real money, money that can't be inflated away. So since I didn't vote for this, I have to take action. And again, I have to take the Federal Reserve note and I have to exchange it into silver and gold to protect the fruits of my labor. And unfortunately, when I do that, I get punished. How do I get punished? I get punished by getting double taxed. It's crazy. It's totally crazy. So we need to spread this more in the community. You know, unfortunately, it's going to be those who are affected by it who are going to talk the most about it. Uh, most people who aren't charged sales tax, they're probably not going to care. Unfortunately, that is just human nature. But again, just remember, if you don't speak up for your fellow man, eventually it will come for you as well. That's how it always works. And so if you're enjoying no sales tax, just remember that can change anytime. And if some of the states are doing it, that is a clear indication that other states could possibly do it down the road. I mean, the complete act of charging sales tax on gold and silver is completely criminal. It is criminal and it goes against our constitution. It's absolutely crazy. So again, you guys let me know below and please go ahead and share this video so we can get the word out and maybe we can get a movement going where people are shining light on the sales tax being charged on gold and silver. This is totally wrong. The common man should not be handicapped like this when they're trying to protect the fruits of their labor. So please go ahead and share the video. Let's get this thing going so others in the community start talking about it and we can get more videos being made about this and we can get the word out there. And with that being said, that's going to do it for today's video. So you guys drop your comments below. What do you think about this? I'd love to get your thoughts below. And as always, if you found the video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you get more videos on both gold and silver. And as always, God bless.